YouTube, this your boy Sinister, back at you again, another video, um, while I'm sitting there waiting on my trailer to get fixed, I'm actually doing an uh, engine pre-trip, uh, checking everything, so let me show y'all, so, you know, I already had checked my, uh, my engine oil level, so which, you know, you will pull it out. Let me see if I can do it one hand. And what you want to do is, on your on your dipstick, you you wipe it off, and it has to be between, it has to be full. So you will wipe it off and then dip it back in a second time and check it, which I already did. So everything is good. I don't gotta add no engine oil. You. You know, I'm checking my hoses, making sure there's no, you know, it's not, uh, no signs of cracks, you know, it's not frayed, you know, no leaks, you know, making sure my brackets and stuff is tight, my, my screws and stuff like that, you know, making sure nothing is loose, you know, I'm checking my, my pipes, making sure, you know, everything is in good condition, checking the, the brackets, making sure those is tight. You know what I mean? Checking each one like these. You know what I mean? You know, this is your power steering gearbox right here. So, making sure that's tight and secured. You know, it's dirty in here, man. I haven't had a chance to even get to a uh, truck wash. You know what I mean? So, yep. Making sure that my castle nut and carter pin is in place. You know? Checking my my spring leaves, making sure they not cracked. The bolts is in good condition, not loose. You know what I mean? Checking all my hoses and stuff like that. These is brand new filters I got right here. You know, checking, make sure you check everything. You know, this is your steering column that affects your steering wheel turning. You know, it's not cracked. My universal joint is in good condition. You know, no missing the loose bolts. You know, my paintman arm has got his proper nuts and bolts, not loose, not cracked, not dented. You know, my drag link is good. I tug on it, make sure it's in good condition. My steering, my steering arm, good. Got his castle nut and carter pin in place. You know, my brake chamber is good, in good condition. So. Checking my brake drums, you know, my brake shoes is in good condition. The inside part of my tire, make sure there's no bubbles, no cuts. So you want to make sure that your axle, you want to make sure that your axle is good, don't have no cracks, no illegal weldings. This is the filter. When my filter get down here to the red, that's when it's time to change the filter right here. You know, this is the new belt that I got from the old belt. You see it's a lot more thicker than the old belt. So, um, you want to check your vehicle frame, no illegal holes, no cracks, you know what I mean? So, it's real dirty in this engine. It's real dirty in this engine, got to get it clean. So, you know, I gotta buy some windshield washer fluid because that's getting low. You know, that's where you will put it right here. This is another filter. You know, I make sure I'm checking on my my lug nuts and bolts, checking the hoses to it. Make sure it's not, you know, it's not uh, frayed, cracked, or leaking. You know, that's another close up on my belt. Tug up on my belt. Should have no more than three fourth inch. I play from the center of the belt, making sure my caps is tight. You know what I mean? My hoses is in good condition. My connectors, my fasteners is as tight. Let me see. You know, checking everything. You know, making sure nothing is leaking. Making sure everything is secure and fastened. Checking my pipe, tugging on it. 
Wow. It's real filthy. You can see it. No. I'm tugging on it, making sure all my lug nuts and bolts is tight, like I said. Checking in there, no leaks, you know. And of course, you'll check your brake chamber hoses, make sure they're not cracked, leak, leaking, afraid, you know, or loose. Your brake chamber secure, not cracked, secure with the proper nuts and bolts. Your U bolts, you want to make sure you check those. Your shock absorbers, this your shock absorber is not leaking, it's secure with the proper nuts and bolts. The U bolts is not cracked, you know. Your spring leads is secured, not cracked, none shifted, none missing. You know, you'll check your axle, make sure it's not cracked. You know what I mean? Here's your pull rod. Should have no more than one inch of free play when the brakes are released. Check the inside of your tire. Make sure you ain't got no bolts, just cuts. You know what I mean? Properly inflated. Making sure your rim have, you know, check your brake shoes. It's hard to kind of see. Let me see. I might be upside down because of the way I'm showing y'all with the camera. So. And that's what it is. You know, I like to check everything. Because I'd like to try to find whatever I can find wrong. And get it fixed as soon as possible. You know. So. That's it. You want to make sure that your fan blades is all accounted for. Nothing missing. You know, your fan blades, that's good. 